I'm John Lockwood from Creative Expressions. I'm here today to introduce you to the beautiful range of decoupage papers from Craft Consortium. There is at the moment a range of 38 beautiful designs covering every single different design that you would want. They're also updated constantly, so if you check the Creative Expressions website, you'll be able to see all the changes every couple of months. There's also some stunning designs coming in for Christmas, which are just beautiful. I'm going to show you how it comes to you and how it would arrive at your door in the packaging. You get the packages just like this, and you will get three different sheets in each one of all the same design. And the designs cover things like vintage world maps. Here we've got a beautiful vintage rose. And there's designs that cover absolutely everything. The difference with the decoupage papers from Craft Consortium is the quality that you get in there. The papers are actually manufactured at 28 GSM. What that means is you get a very, very thin, lightweight paper. But what it also means is the way that these are manufactured, and they're actually woven papers, means that they'll tear in either direction, and there's also a lot of strength. So when I pull a piece, it won't tear, showing the strength. That's a small piece of it. This is a whole sheet that you get. So this is the size that you get in every single pack, and you'll get three pages of each in each pack, offering excellent value in there. One of the things that people want to know a lot is, what do they do with decoupage papers? What would you do with them? The first thing that most people do, and the first thing I tried, was to put it onto some MDF. Home decor is extremely fashionable, and shabby chic is the thing at the moment. Creative Expressions carry a fantastic range of MDF products. Here we've got the 6x6 scrapbook pages, perfect for building your own scrapbooks and memory books. We've also got a range of shapes as well. Here we've got the Shaker Hearts, which comes in a pack of three, and these are made of 4mm MDF. So you've got a lot of strength in there, and again, they will last, and you can't break them, which, uh, trust me, I've tried quite a few times. But to show how they work with the papers, here we've got a heart, that's actually just been flat covered with one of the papers. And one of the questions I get asked a lot of the time is, how do you get the creases out? How does it look so smooth? That's one of the benefits of the Craft Consortium papers. They're not like your classic tissue paper or wrapping paper that people have tried these effects with before. These are designed specifically for this and will go on perfectly, especially when you use them with the Cosmic Shimmer glue and seals. The Cosmic Shimmer Glue and Seals are a product that have been di designed exclusively by Creative Expressions for these papers alone. Papers came first and then we designed these glues to go with it. And again, it being Creative Expressions, there's a glossy one, there's a matte one and of course there's a sparkle. The sparkle one has a little bit of glitter in there, the more layers that you build up the more sparkle you'll get. Wouldn't be cosmic if there wasn't a little bit of sparkle somewhere. So I'm going to go on to show you how to actually apply these papers and I'm going to use one of the 6x6 scrapbook pages as a good flat image of how to do it. Open the packaging as they come to your door and you get two laser cut pieces in there. Now whilst these are laser cut and not cut, they're cut completely smoothly, you get a little bit of burnishing and a little bit of burn mark around the edges. Again. One of the benefits of the Craft Consortium papers is that you don't have to prep your MDF first. They are of a quality that will cover it completely without you having to worry at all. So to do that, I'm just taking the piece of scrap that I had. And uh, as I made such a thing of it, I'll use the sparkle. And as you notice, one of the main differences in the Cosmic Shimmer Glue and Seal is that it isn't thick. Something I've found in the past is that certain glues and things can be very, very chewing gum-like. This is very thin and very light, makes you, enables you to build up some brilliant thin coats. So I'm just roughly coating the whole piece all over with a thin layer of the glue and seal. And then taking my pa decoupage paper and literally almost slapping it down. Smooth it out and this gets rid of all of the creases. Because the paper is such of a thin weight, the paper will stretch and move slightly when it's in the seal, meaning that you can cover around edges and you can cover other items. Then, to cut it off, the best way to do it is to use a sanding block. I'm using a Couture Creation sanding block which has two different grades of sandpaper on it, which is perfect for this job. And all you need to do is to go down 
at a 45 degree angle against the wood and the paper. Doing this ensures you get a perfect seal and as you can see there the piece just dro drops off. So I'll just go round and do the rest and I'm simply as I said going round one direction at a 45 degree angle and again I'm not having to take an immense amount of care I'm not having to spend hours making sure I place it in the right place as we can see those pieces just drop off take the last piece off and there we go now the benefits of doing it that way are firstly if you cut round it with a pair of scissors you don't get it particularly neat same with a craft knife but also you leave an edge of paper which can flick up by doing it with the sanding and using the glue and seal you cannot get the paper back off once it's on and that piece is then completely dry as it completely dries out it will totally flatten out and you'll be able to see the design and again you'll also be able to see the sheen on the paper the paper has a slight sheen on the top of it which again is another aspect of the quality that's in there so that's how to flat apply a piece. I'm now going to show you the other technique which is to do it torn into squares. Now I'm going to show you a piece that I've already done with the same paper. This is a table that I actually made from a charity shop find. The table was £10 from a charity shop and all I've done is use the papers to cover the top and use some of the cosmic shimmer chalk paints to cover the base and some gilding wax. But again shows you the flexibility of the paper because it goes around all of the corners and it fits around, it smooths around, you're not having to worry about it because the thin weight means it's not. Also, that's actually a table from home. That actually is in my home and is used as a bedside table in our spare room. All I did was put another layer of the glue and seal over the top which completely sealed it. I haven't even actually told the person who cleans that it's been done that way, so she just cleans it as normal with no problems whatsoever. So to do that technique, what we're going to do and I'm using the great thing here, again, because I use the sanding, I've not lost any paper, I've wasted none. I can use all these little bits. So I'm going to tear them up. And again, another benefit of the way that this paper's woven is that it tears in both directions, which isn't standard with most lightweight papers. Most lightweight papers will only tear in one direction. So I'm randomly tearing it into squares. It doesn't matter what size it is, what shape it is. And then, again, taking the glue and seal, put a thin coat over the whole top of the piece. And with this particular product, there's no need to worry about getting the glue and seal anywhere. As long as you wipe it up, it won't mark and it doesn't stain. So you don't have to worry about getting it on your fingers, on the edge of your brush, on your table or anything. Then simply pick up a piece of paper. I use my brush pop it down, take some more of the glue and seal and smooth the paper down. Take the next piece and just keep repeating. And all I'm doing is taking pieces and making sure that they're covered. If, for example, like this piece, if that's not in the right place, you can peel them back off because the glue is very light and the paper has got the integrity in there of the way that it's been woven. So put it in the right place and again smooth it down. Next piece. And I just keep going round with all the different papers. What you can do is you don't have to stick to one design. What we've done at Creative Expressions is to put a lot of the papers into sets. So we've made sure that there's at least one or two different papers within the collection that will tie together so that you can mix two or three different papers together for one particular look or again if you're decorating a complete room and you want furniture done in matching but different pieces within the range you will find items that just match perfectly. As per usual I haven't uh, torn enough paper so just tear some more up And the glue stays tacky for about a minute, two minutes. 
So if you do have to walk away from it to tear more paper or to answer the phone or something, all you would need to do is to add another light layer of the glue on. Again, one of the benefits of the glue and seal is that it's thin enough so that you're not going to build up too much of a coating and create texture in your work where you don't want it. Put the last piece on and then I don't even have to wait for this to dry before I can sand it off. So I take my sanding block and I start sanding straight away. I think it's one of the things that crafters and people who do this absolutely love is instant results. I'm not one of those people with patience who can sit there and wait for something to dry for an hour before I can carry on. I want to be able to do it straight away. With the glue on, it takes a little bit more pressure to actually get it off. And again, I'm just going around all four sides. But as you can see, the paper isn't tearing where the sanding block is going over the paper. Even though it's wet with the seal, it isn't tearing at all where I want it to stay perfect. Get this last corner done. Take the scrap bit off. Got a bit on the side there, so I'm just rubbing over with the edge just to make sure it's all neat. And there we have a completed mixed panel. Again, done and sealed. And yes, it is still a light, slight bit tacky, but then a couple of minutes and that'll be completely dry for you to do whatever you want to do on it next. The other great thing about the paper is because of the finish on it, it means you can finish it in any way you want to. So if you want to add gilding wax to it, and I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer Golden Light Gilding Wax here. Straight away, this is the piece that we did before I turned it over. And the gilding wax just goes around the edge. And if we can catch that, just catches the light, intensifies the colour. And if we want to, we can use the gilding wax to actually gild the edges of the MDF which if you're using this as a scrapbook or a memory book, just adds that little bit of a finishing touch. This would be great as well, certainly in the gold or the silver, if you used it as a guest book at a wedding and got all the people who were there to sign it. There's loads of different things you can do using the papers to tie into your colour theme and things like that. The other thing you can do with it, this is done and sealed and finished so we can be able to stamp on it. Because again, the quality of the paper and the finish on it means you've got a flat surface the glue and seal being thin means you've got a thin layer coat, so you've no texture and bumps in there to worry about. Here, I'm just using some bubble stamps from one of my stamp sets, which is the Butterfly Dream set. And I'm just stamping around the edge. Just lightly. And I'm using acrylic stamp here, and I'm using archival black ink by Ranger, which will stick and sit permanently on this. Which has just given me a detail effect around the side. It also allows me to add some of the Cosmic Shimmer PVA, which is a pearlized glue which actually falls and drops as pearl drops. And because I've stamped circles, it gives me a guide to put them in. But again, it shows you that nothing actually spreads on these papers or with the glue. It just puts where you've actually, it stays exactly where you've placed it. So I'm just putting a few of the glue dots on, making sure I'm not touching the paper. And as you can see, they're not spreading at all. And the finish on there is not changed in the slightest. A couple of other bits you can do, which we can do to sort of finish this one off. I'll stamp a sentiment on. And this is uh, my favourite sentiment, which is from the uh, Creative Expression Clear Stamp Set, which I'm being quite bad because this is one I designed. Um, and this is from the Daisy Set, so we'll put that on. So may you lay your head on a carpet of daisies. And again, stamps perfectly and clearly over the top of the piece with no problems. A couple more bits that we can do. 
Because, again, of the way that the papers have been woven, they will actually die cut. So what I've done here is I've used a piece of the same paper as I've covered it in, and I've simply die cut it with the new Sue Wilson Classic Fold Over Flower die. Um, I'm going to, uh, because we've put daisies, I'm going to make a very quick daisy in it. So I'm cutting off one side. I'm just going to put a thin layer of glue on all the way along. And using the kebab stick, very lightly and loosely. I've started it on the stick. I'm then just using it in my hand just so that I can roll it quite loosely. And there we go, right to the end. And then I simply pop out all of the petals. Going to the centre. Give it a little press. I've got a little bow here that I've already made using the uh, satin double-sided ribbon. And I'm just going to add my daisy in the centre and then finish it off with a little bit more of the gold pearl PVA. So, I'm just going to stick the bow down because it can take a little while to stick. Just make sure I give it a slight movement which helps the uh, Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue just to settle. And because I've squidged it with my finger, just redo the centerpiece. When I hold this one up, the glue may slide a slight bit, but I hope not. And there we go, that's the finished piece. Just showing you two or three of the different techniques of what you can do with the uh, Craft Consortium decoupage papers, the Cosmic Shimmer glue and seal. Um, it's up to you now to see what you can do at home. It'd be great to see some of your home decor projects or your card making or scrapbooking projects using these things. Take care.